So I just released my last video where I started making a, a game for my friend Red Gunner, which you should watch. But then my friend LTV came up to me wanting to make some games. I didn't want to, but then he threatened me to do it or he would make specific art off of my pink robot character. And I guess we're remaking some games now. So our objectives for this challenge are Both of us need to remake three games We have 48 hours to develop each game And at the end We show them to To see which one of us did better at them And then we decided the first game we are going to remake Is an old favorite game of mine I'm talking about Portal 2. Even after 10 years, this game still holds uh, up uh, better than most other games uh, today. And we're gonna remake it. Let's get started. So apparently, some of my video footage I've been recording, and when I say some, I mean all of it showing me actually developing it, decided to disappear on me, so now I don't have that. So I'm just gonna do a really quick showcase of everything I added. So I made a basic movement script for moving around, including left and right and jumping and then I made some portals because you can't have a portal game without portals I also made a cube so you can and put stuff and activate stuff like buttons and such also very basic portal stuff and a door to go along with that. And I also made a portal gun, which will allow you to obviously shoot portals into different places. So you can use it to get to up to higher spaces or secret areas and ledges or stuff if you can and, and, and you know, or want to try and then i also added some post processing over it all which kind of looks bad but it is what it is we have a time limit so yeah that's kind of it so far so then ldv decided that the due date was going to be Friday for me. And today is Monday, so we have to get stuff done quickly. Let's get started. So then I turned on the post-processing fire so not literally blind to him, which is good. And then for some reason, I decided to turn the portals from the rectangle shape they were curling into squares. I think it was supposed to help with action in going through the portals because if they were taller, it would cause some glitches into the walls and such but I can't quite remember. I tried to do as much as I could, but suddenly things came up and I couldn't work on the project, but at least I had some good food.
There wasn't much left that I was able to do, but I did what I could. The next game LDV chose for us to replay was a game I was not familiar with, and that is Five Nights at Freddy's. So I made some art, including some tiles for the grounds and the player. And then I made a level using the tiles I made earlier. And then I also made a player movement system with the sprites and such. And then I added a time system, which took way too long to implement. Like, uh, the footage you're seeing here has been sped up, like, 11 and a half uh, times uh, the normal footage. I I'm, I'm reading this off right now. Yeah. And after definitely coding a whole bunch and uh, uh, totally not just importing a pathfinding asset that I use in all my Unity 2D projects, we have some uh, movement for some enemies, which will come after you after a ransom point in time. And oh no! Oh no! 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 Did I forget to mention that I added jump scares? I did? Oh. Sorry then. I also got a camera system and, and a power system for this. And a flashlight because you need some way to it, get away from the enemies and such. And I was thinking maybe I would actually be able to finish this game with everything I would have wanted. But then, unfortunately, more life stuff decided to happen that caused me to not get time to develop this or even be home for that matter so uh, this is kind of the final project it's in. oh boy it turns out good for but this time we decided to do something different and remake each other's games that we really LDV chose my game that I made for my first game jam, which I also live streamed. And I chose his game that he made called Square FPS. First thing we need to do to make a game about squares is well add a square. And next we need to do is add another square, which will be our opponent. And just like the last game, we will totally code and not import an asset for its movement and pathfinding. Then, I decided to make an item system where you can swap between a couple of different weapons, including sword, and bow, and something, I don't really know what, that can be used to make walls to protect yourself. And one other thing that didn't really work. But yeah. In case if it isn't obvious, I have no idea what I was doing for this game. 
But then unfortunately I got sick and I couldn't finish the game since I was sick for like a week or something. It, it, so this is kind of where that's left off too. Finally, we have made all three games and completed them somewhat. Now, it's time for the judging part. For me, LDV, and our judge, Juju Prod Games, will call and uh, he will play them. And he, uh, 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 this is it. This uh, it will be the finale. He will play the games and, and it, it give us each a point and uh, uh, whoever has the highest amount of points wins the challenge. Hello, and I have no idea what this is about. <laughs> uh, this. What the frick? It says that there's a tutorial. Well, let's be honest, guys. Real gamers don't use tutorials. Yo, these animations look really cool. What the? Why did it teleport me upwards? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the cube. Room. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, this cube is so heavy. But the first to admit, the sound is pretty loud. My my eardrums are currently uh, bleeding. But it's neat. I mean, the final test. Ooh. Will this crush me? Cause it's like opening and like. Oh! It's Glados! Yo, what? This is sick! Let's go! It'll eventually work. Oh, wait! Uh, we're bugging it. Button! Your game was actually, your game had a really cool concept. I like how you can control where the portal gun goes, but I'm giving the point to LDV just because it wasn't as fun. Uh, I don't yeah, like how I can't move diagonally. Uh, I sir? Ah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I like the checkerboard pattern along the walls here. This is a bit from Star Builders. Okay. There is the. Okay. Watch the camera. Oh my god, that scared the heck out of me. Okay. Purple guy! The in fight night. Try this. Go outside. Okay, I run. run. Hey, wait, how do I get out of this? I, I, I... Oh, okay. Get out. I'm checking if there's anything here. It looks like there's no one on the security camera so far. Cottons except the Tindleby one. You know what? Let's even it up. Tindleby, you get the point. He suspects! You can shoot! Hit one kill. I was like, 80, I'm gonna be here. Ooh. There you go. The butterfly clicking. Two hand butterfly clicking. Bum, 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 boom! I'm gonna give this one. Tindle B, you win! <laughs> the challenge is done. We have won. Roughly three months ago, LDV wanted me to make three games to show to Jujuprod Games. These games are not the best. They all have bugs and errors and such. But they got the job done. Maybe someday we will come back to these games and fix them up ready for publishing. My next video is already being planned out. It's going to be a question and answering video. So if you have any questions to ask me, join my Discord server and go down to questions for Tyndall B and ask them. Or just hang out. Anyways though, I, please subscribe. quality videos and videos.
because these are probably not as high quality. Anyway, it is um, a nice day, night, or whatever. I'm going to work on my next, this video. I'm going to work on this video. Because I'm almost done editing it. <laughs> Alright, bye.